Hi Capricorns, welcome. This is your bi-weekly reading from October 1st to the 15th. Um, welcome back, I should say. Uh, sorry for those who were looking for September readings. I just kind of took the month off um, just to kind of um, enjoy things. Um, just enjoy my life, you know, it's my birthday month, so I just took some time for myself. Boundaries and self-care are always important. Anyways, back to it. This is your bi-weekly reading. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, um, share, and comment. If it doesn't, check your moon and rise, and you could be in that energy as well. Um, also, <clears throat> I'll just put it out there. If you don't connect at all, I'll try to connect next week, or if not, maybe see if there's another reader on YouTube that you connect to, because there's some great readers on here. All right. Interesting cards, too. Um, pop out immediately, I would say. So you've got the tower in the main energy, and I don't really want you to kind of freak out. A lot of people see the tower, they're like, destruction, things are going mayhem, and it might feel like some chaos right now, but it's followed by some actually really good cards here, Capricorn. So things might be changing right now um, in different circumstances in your life, maybe your relationships, your job, um, your house, whatever it is, whatever major transformation, could it be even a spiritual transformation we're having here, whatever it is that's happening here that feels a lot, feels like this tower moment, all I will say is just um, embrace it, understand it, um, surrender to the change maybe a little bit, because it seems like right now you it kind of feels like a little bit of confusion you're just like what is kind of going on what is it all in this energy um for these two weeks but we have the sun in reverse and the sun in reverse is actually a good card to follow it means that happiness is on the way so i really feel um right now in these two weeks that things are actually changing for your greater good things are changing for the better even though it might not seem like it right now even though you might not understand it i think in the long run something's changing here for the better of the situation because we have it followed by the wheel of fortune and to have these two cards i'm just like you know what i was i saw the tower popped out and i was like well you know what this read can kind of go two ways but this is a great sign it means things are actually working in your favor so these changes that are happening right now even though there are major changes Changes and it might seem like a lot is happening and a lot is changing really quickly and always for your kind of greater good here um, just to kind of give you a heads up so again do not stress um, it looks like good things are kind of on the way for you here um, things are going to start to turn in your favor um, getting definitely some clearing energy I feel like um, whatever it is that is changing right now it needs to be cleared to create space for something new um, so you might be again feeling that kind of clearing um, energy here maybe like from some fresh start energy as well Capricorn um, king of pentacles coming right after dang <laughs> I was say just say that okay dang King of Pentacles coming out in good fortune. Things are moving for your favor. Things are moving for your abundance. Things are moving for um, what you want to create uh, financially. Um, maybe something, some kind of business career as well. King of Pentacles popping out um, here. Definitely, it's an earth sign energy. Capricorn earth sign. Um, feels good. Whatever these changes are, um, I feel like it's actually going to be um, good for you and good for your um, finances. It's going to be good for um, building kind of what you want to build here, what you kind of want to create. Um, it's energy Capricorn. So again, because these changes are happening, just feel feel steady in it. Feel, feel um, understanding that it is kind of happening so that you can kind of progress here because I believe this kind of the king of pentacles has like everything they want they have all their abundance they have um basically everything they need as well um and they're just kind of like sitting pretty on the throne so I think you're honestly kind of moving in that direction you're moving in the direction of um your total abundance here um which is great so whatever this decision is whatever things are changing right now again especially for the greater good so don't overthink it um, realize you are the Empress energy here. Um, Empress and Tower have actually been popping out a lot for a lot of sides. Um, so, uh, Ace of Swords Reverse is kind of all about uh, overthinking things. Uh, you could be having a lot of headaches right now, um, second guessing yourself, not having really like a clear vision of what's going on. Um, so, stop. If something feels right, stop second guessing yourself so much. Stop overthinking the situation. Stop over um, thinking the kind of the outcome here of what it's going to be and if you're making the right decision, okay? Because it, it just seems like we're kind of just too much in our head right now. Uh, so, whatever you got to do, if you got to meditate, if you got to um, go for a walk, something to kind of clear your head and clear your mind here so you're not kind of racing um, repeatedly to thinking if you are doing the right thing. Um, it just kind of feels like that kind of energy around it here, too. It's just like adding more stress because you're kind of like making yourself stressed in a way and if you have an anxiety disorders i'm not talking about like 
that, obviously. Um, I'm just saying that if, again, if you are stressing too much, overthinking, if it's something that you can um, control, you're kind of self here, just do something that you can do, go for a walk. Again, um, something that can kind of like clear your mind. We have the Empress coming in as well. Empress is all about the harvest. Um, she empowers, again, male and female energy. She just empowers abundance, fertility, um, everything like that. She just um, understands that things will kind of naturally come to her. That She just kind of has to sit on her throne here. Um, and she just has to let um, abundance and everything move towards her. Uh, this is a great card if, if someone is looking to get pregnant um, or looking for fertility. Um, it also is a great card just in general to bring abundance towards you. So I need you to kind of... Um, switch kind of a bit of your mindset right now and kind of see yourself as this imprint and know that you kind of have the power and you have the kind of the control to bring whatever it is that you kind of want in your life whatever it is that you kind of want to manifest um here so if something is feeling right to you if something's feeling um like uh, i don't know why i'm um uh this change is like it's just like move or like it feels like make a move or like a, 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 it doesn't really feel like a relationship. It feels like a move or like a kind of a position there, like a position changing. Um, so just kind of open up, be open to that there. But it, just remember you are the empress, you have control. Um, you know what you're doing and you know what you're kind of like talking about there, okay? Um, Capricorn, so just trust that. There's some, uh, definitely some hurt or some heart healing here. So what is this kind of pain that's being um, healed here? What is this pain for Capricorn that's being healed? What is this pain for Capricorn? There's definitely some residual pain here that you weren't moving on from or you weren't kind of getting um, uh, moving past here. I don't know whatever that pain was. Maybe um, it's, it, it feels like stagnancy pain. Um, it feels like, I don't know if you feel like you were supposed to be progressing farther in life right now, or it feels like you've kind of been, um, I, I don't know, waiting for something to happen because it just feels like very stalled energy. Um, but it might've been that your pain was just kind of stalling you for a little bit. Whatever hurt um, discourse this kind of is, it's kind of been causing you like a little bit of pain um, recently. So again, it just feels like we are kind of moving past this in these two weeks here and we're moving into something um, better because uh, again uh, but definitely if something uh, tragic happened or something really painful or hurtful happened it's hard to move on it's hard to um, be hopeful for the future because we can get really really down um, and feel like nothing's going to work out or nothing's kind of uh, meant for us here but again i feel this energy is clearing here i feel this pain is lifting so this stuck energy whatever it was that you're feeling here whatever was keeping you down is going to be lifted from you in these two weeks um, what else can kind of Capricorn do to kind of lift this pain? Moon energy. All right. Shadow work. Okay, healing our shadow work. So for some of you, um, Piscean energy is very so maybe there some of you are dealing with the Pisces. Um, but it feels like more like shadow work. So it feels like this stuff, um, basically kind of the pain, it feels um, almost like past pain. Um, so shadow work is kind of all about kind of going deep within us and seeing the parts of us that, um, you know, sometimes aren't, um, seeing maybe the things that are hindering us, seeing the things that are maybe stopping us from progressing forward in ourselves, uh, things that are not so shiny and bright. We're all human. We have, I honestly feel like we have a light and shadow side. That's just everyone. Um, yin yang, that's, that's one thing I firmly believe. Um, but again, it feels like when we heal some of this, when we heal some of this kind of moon energy here, the shadow work, um, that's when things are going to kind of progress for you. Um, so really think about kind of releasing this energy as well. Um, going deep, um, I'm going kind of deep within and uh, it feels like uh, again some like kind of inner shadow work here that is um needs to be done in these two weeks um and releasing and healing that and it actually feels like you are kind of the energy right now kind of feels like you are already doing that so i'm proud of you for that um but just kind of keep it moving okay just kind of um keep on this kind of healing journey that you're already on because it feels like again um this is kind of a stuck energy that you were feeling has something to do with this kind of clearing out the shadow work here uh maybe that has to be like writing a letter forgiving someone uh maybe that has to do cutting chi cords um to people for your energy reclaiming your energy back meditations i think there's a lot of great ones on here for that um so just um go through it maybe it's going 
into therapy, whatever that kind of exists, it is for you, Capricorn. But again, it seems like there's uh, the changes that are happening right now are because of this work that you've been kind of doing on yourself um, and this work that you've kind of um, this work that kind of has been uh, progressing that way. I'll say that. All right. Capricorn, please. Yeah, just giving yourself that self-love, that self-care. This is the Nine of Pentacles. Sorry, I live downtown. <laughs> As you can have all the horns honking. Uh, this, the self-love card is popping out here. So it's just saying, give yourself that compassion. Give yourself that care. Show yourself the value. Bring your own value up here. Really see yourself as... Um, <clears throat> as um, putting yourself first, taking care of yourself, valuing yourself. I deserve um, to have abundance. I deserve to have a healthy life. I deserve to kind of get everything I want in this life. Again, some people think that might be um, selfish. Some people might think that's, um, but I don't think it's at all. You know, you kind of really, uh, my firm belief, especially in this as well, is, you know, we're here for our own kind of personal growth. Um, so make sure we're kind of making that a proper priority and feeling like we kind of deserve um, all these things. Because if we put out the energy that we don't deserve something, um, that something's, uh, we're not worthy of something. I just saw 11.11 on the, um, sorry, on the kind of the clock here as well. So that's an um, important number because it means I'm on the right track. So if we don't feel like we're deserving of something, that we um, don't need something, and again, it feels like it has something to tie with this kind of past pain here, then things kind of won't come our way because we subconsciously still believe that we don't deserve good things to happen to us. So I just want to say you are worthy, you are loved, you deserve to have good things happening to you here. And I feel like that, again, we're kind of changing that. This is the energy that we're changing, Capricorn. changing our value or how we kind of see ourselves um, here. Yeah, big things on the way for you coming in. So this is like a pivotal change for you. It all, it's a, it's a, um, feels like a really big shift, um, in the best way possible. It feels like you're kind of going to maybe look back on this time and you're going to kind of see and clearly what, um, this time was kind of all about you're going to like look back and be like oh yeah that was such a pivotal uh space kind of in my life in this time um that kind of changed things or reworked things for me because it looks like there's a new job offer coming in um so if some of you are kind of changing things up here or looking for a new job relocating and then looking for a new job seems like there's something on the way from here something stable is on the way for you and maybe it's not the job but it could just be kind of a stable life is what i'm feeling for some of you that are single it could be a stable partner from another earth sign um I just again feeling big abundance feeling and get stability the way you are so stop getting in your own head about it stop overthinking things so much and kind of just go with the flow and go with the kind of the tide here so that's going to be the important part for these um two weeks and about this journey and about this change um that kind of part of the trust as well is kind of um i think an essence of self-care as well right when you're just like no, I trust where I'm being led. I trust um, where I'm going. I, I trust that I'm making the right decision here. That energy kind of, again, flows towards you with that with that trust energy. Because if you're just like, well, I feel this way. I feel like I should um, change jobs. I feel like I should move locations. I should um, switch things up a little bit. Should let go of some things. But your brain kind of goes, well, we haven't done that before. That's a, that's a little scary. I don't know about that. I don't know. Like, it, it will try and stop you. And so again, it just says, like, get out of your own way, get out of your own head here. Because it looks like, again, whatever you're feeling right now, the cards are kind of saying, go for it. This is the, the trusting kind of energy um, that we have. It just seems like there's, again, some mental blocks for you right now. Okay. Capricorn, Some of you might be going through a breakup right now um, with the lovers in reversed or Gemini or dealing with the uh, Gemini here. So maybe some of you, this big change is a, a ending of a relationship um, that's happening. Um, it seems like, again, we're manifesting some new things kind of into our life here. So for some of you, that might be just be, um, again, a new relationship. For those of you who are in a happy partnership, it could be with anyone. Maybe we're just kind of, uh, the lovers can represent any kind of partnership here. Friends, family. So it seems like there's some energy we might be leaving some people behind or there might be some stagnancy um, where we were kind of deciding on a partner or deciding um 
yeah, this might be even maybe a reconnection with an ex kind of energy um, that we were deciding on, but it seems like, ooh, it seems like we're kind of manifesting something new here, some new kind of energy. So again, if you're in a happy relationship, just don't mind that. Um, it could just be maybe you're reevaluating your different kinds of relationships, your work relationships, your friend relationships here. There's something that seems like it was kind of stewing on or you were kind of thinking about, but now it's kind of, things are kind of releasing and it's becoming kind of a bit clearer there. Um, for you. So whatever this question on this uh, relationship is, again, you're the magician, you're kind of manifesting what you want in this life. You're creating your space right now. What does my future look like? What do I want it to look like? You understand that you have all the tools and powers because you are the alchemist of your own life. You are the magician. You understand that you can create or manifest anything kind of that you want in this life, um, what you kind of truly want. And I love that energy for you because again, it seems like whatever this energy was, the stuck energy, it could feel as well that some of you um, were had just not had luck in relationships in the last little while. Um, it seems like, again, I feel like it feels like you can kind of manifest and bring in the right partner. Maybe you're taking some time out um, to yourself because things kind of weren't were, um, working in the kind of love direction there. So you were focusing on something else. Um, but whatever it is, just understand whatever this stuck energy that you're feeling, um, you have the manifesting power to kind of create a new reality for yourself here some really good cards this is like i think a great shift for you and i think it, it's honestly going to be a pivotal shift um capricorn just pulling some oracle cards for you for capricorn Ooh. she flew all right so the energy oracle that we have for you, Capricorn, is Door to Romance, New Beginnings in Love. Whether you're looking for a new relationship or just more love in a relationship you are in, this door will, uh, with a heart, opens a new beginning to your experience. Uh, new love may be arriving or you may be being brought together by a stronger, uh, resonant connection. This may be a call from a past life or it may be a new tenderness about to blossom in a heartfelt action. This, if this relationship already exists in your energy potential. So when this card appears in your spread, make sure you are projecting the kind of self-loving energy, that's what we're talking about there, that you want to receive from others. Be, a, um, be aware that the universe returns your self-care and treatment to you. It's ready to open the door. Are you? Right? Make sure we're raising that kind of self-care energy. That's kind of what we're talking about here, what you deserve. Because um, if it's something that you truly want, especially if it is maybe a relationship for those of you that are feeling like that kind of energy is stuck for you here. Um, if that is something that you want, then perfect. I think you're going to kind of get it here. But you want to draw in the right partner towards you and you do that kind of energetically. All right. We also have wait. It's not yet time. Things are being woven. In our fast, loud, reactive, comparative world, we are in an instant response. So often, uh, where an instant response is so often expected at times, even a currency it may feel almost impossible to take a breath, let alone give yourself the space to rest, wait, and reset. We are so often in overdrive, expecting instantaneous results over and over again. When the di uh, when the guidance doesn't come to these extreme speeds, it could feel as though something has gone wrong. But often, not receiving guidance is guidance in itself. When you ask for guidance and don't receive it, it can often mean wait, it's not yet time. The details are being woven. Our challenge is to keep trusting, which we were talking about kind of with this whole read as well, just trusting um, that you kind of know the space, you know kind of where to go, um, that you're on the right path because it feels right. On the surface, it could appear that nothing is happening. To remember that no matter how long or better the winter, spring does always come. To remember that you don't need to solve all of the world's problems in a single day, and that perhaps they'll be better solved with some percept uh, perspective and a good night's sleep. This card is your permission to sl uh, slip, to slow down, to switch off, to rest. Being reminded to be patient and to trust the mystery of life. To trust that things are being woven for you on your behalf. It may not be happening on the timeline you like, but if you gather a patience, it will be orchestrated better than you can ever imagine. And I think that is kind of a great way to end it there because it is being orchestrated for you in the best way possible. And that's what they're saying here. They say, even though it might not feel like it right now, even though the sun is in reverse, it, the sun is coming up, it's rising, it's on the way up for you, okay? The Wheel of Fortune here, King of Pentacles is here. You can't deny it in the cards. So Capricorn, I'm going to leave you with that for these two weeks. It seems like you're having a great shift into something really great here. So, and I just said great twice. 
about. And that was your bi-weekly reading. I hope it helped.